Hi everyone, Inat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you my top three distress ink techniques. So I'm just going to put a paper under my page and the first technique is stamping. Yes, you can stamp with distress ink. It is not as clear or as crisp as permanent ink because distress ink is a little different in texture but it can be a great way to stamp any surface, any page, your scrapbook page, your art journal page, cards. And I simply took some number stamps and arranged them on my acrylic block in different direction. And I'm just going to fill the entire page with those numbers. And I'm using different colors of distress ink while loading my stamp. So the background will be a little bit more colorful. And now I'm going to stamp with a smaller numbers stamp just to create another layer and make the page more interesting. So stamping with distress inks is really easy. And this is the first technique that I like to use with my distress inks. The second technique is coloring. Now coloring with distress ink is one of the easiest things or techniques to use because the distress ink texture is very blendable. So you can really use it as a color and blend a few colors together. So I'm using a blender and you can use a sponge and you always start from the outside going towards the inside and use circular motion to apply the distress ink on your page. And I'm using the first color and then you see that when I add more colors of distress ink they really blend nicely together and then I'll be able to make a really nice background for my page now because distress ink is kind of transparent even though I'm coloring the page I can still see all the stamping that I did so when you layer distress ink, different layers of different elements of distress ink, then all the layers are visible. So that's really cool. And you can use that to create a really interesting background. So I want to add one more technique and that's watering. So I'm using a water spritzer because distress ink reacts with water. So when I spray my page, I can create little pools of color and little drops or drippage and then add more visual texture and more interest to my page. And then you can keep on spraying and create pooling of distress ink all over your page and that will look really, really cool because when the distress ink reacts with the water it adds it changes the consistency so the shade of the color changes and that again adds another dimension to your background so the three techniques are stamping coloring and watering these are my top three techniques i use them a lot with distress ink any color will do they will also work with Distress Oxide inks, by the way, if you have those. And just want to show you how I finish this page because basically this is just the background. So I just stamped a clock face on the page and then it came out a little faint so I went over it with a black pen. because I want it to be my focal point. I wanted it to be really, to pop out from the page. And then to make it even 
more bold and visible. I just added a little bit of white acrylic paint around it just to mute the background a little bit. And then finally, I added a quote. The quote is also stamped with permanent ink this time because there is paint. It will be really difficult to stamp the distress ink on the acrylic paint. So for this part, it's best to use permanent ink. So I just added my quote and then my page was done. So I really hope that you'll try one of these distress ink techniques. There are many more techniques for distress ink, but these are the easiest one and the most common one, at least the ones that I use the most. And of course you can use all three on your page or project or card or scrapbook page, or you can use just one or two, whatever you want. So I really hope you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything and you'll be able to make all the projects and all the tutorials. So I want to thank everyone for joining me today. I hope you'll give these techniques a try and I will see you next time.